Good morning, everybody. Alan, TFT Trailers. Uh, this morning, I'm just going to do a walk around of a trailer that uh, was special ordered for a customer uh, to haul his Tesla Model S Plaid. And if anybody who knows me knows that I'm a Tesla fanatic and I actually have a uh, Cybertruck on order. <clears throat> uh, this particular unit is a 10,000 pound. So it has two 5,000 pound axles, torsion axles, four wheel brakes, parking brake on the rear axle, uh, 15 inch, eight ply tires, load range D. Uh, we did order this unit with the toolboxes. The 10,000 pounders and up do not come with the boxes standard, but we ordered it with the boxes. And then we made them deep boxes so that we could put the, uh, and we ordered it with the 8,000 pound winch also. Uh, so that we could put the battery on the passenger side, and I'll show that here in just a second. Um, configuration's really the same. Uh, just everything is just built heavier. The framework, the size of the frame, the gauge of the material, uh, it's just built heavier to accommodate the extra weight. Spare turn wheel. This is the uh, new winch that we're using with the uh, synthetic rope instead of the cable. Everybody really seems to like that a whole lot better. It doesn't get all frayed and kind of just kind of jacked up the way the cables do uh 10 000 pound units and up come with what's called stay pockets and rub rail down both sides uh just makes the trailer a whole lot more versatile for tying down other things uh, my personal unit is a 10 000 pounder i use it for all of my tractor it just it works a whole lot better for chains and stuff uh, you also notice the jack on the front is a 7,000 pound rated jack instead of the uh, 2,000 pound top wind swing up. Um, we added the four 6,000 pound swivel D rings to the floor. The 10,000 pounders, since they do come with the stay pockets and rubber rail, the D rings are optional. Deep toolboxes with the uh, battery in this toolbox over here. That's just kind of where we always do it. We do have the option to put the battery on the front. Uh, this just kind of gets it out of sight, out of mind, I guess. Uh, like I say, tandem, uh, 5,000 pound torsion axles. We only use Dexter axles. Uh, four wheel brakes, like I say, parking brake on the rear axle. All LED lights. You can definitely see the knife edge so that when this thing is rolled back, it is just sitting on the ground. This is going to be really sharp with the Tesla on it. Hopefully uh, Kyle can get me some photos so I can put them on the website and show y'all what it looks like when it's all loaded and ready to go. Okay, I'm going to do a quick operational video on it also. Just it operates the same way, but I think everybody get a kick out of it. Okay, everybody. Here's the uh, continuation video of showing the operation of the, this particular unit. It operates the same exact way as all the rest of them do, but I always just like to include a, an operational video. A lot of the customers keep the video so they can kind of look at it and make sure they're doing it right and just kind of refresh their memory. First thing you do is pull the pin up here at the front, walk back here, engage the parking brake, which is on the rear axle only. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to remove this little safety pin, and I'm going to explain here in a minute uh, what this is for in more detail. I pull the main pin, and I turn it 90 degrees. Now I get in the truck, and I'm simply going to back up and roll the trailer back till I hear it stop. I like to hang out the window and watch because if you look, the stop is going to stop right there, right there, right in front of the fender. Here, I'll point it out to you. Here's the actual stop right here. When that's all the way back, the bed's rolled all the way back as far as it'll go, and the knife edge is sitting on the ground. Now you're ready to load the vehicle. <clears throat> when you get ready, after you load the vehicle, and you're ready to pull forward, really, it's pretty simple. I'm going to turn that pin 90 degrees so that when the bed rolls all the way forward, I can hear that pin engage. Now, what I do is, depending on how heavy the vehicle is, I, I use my brake control, and I crank my brake control all the way up. Uh, some of them are on the dash, some of them are mounted to the lower dash. Uh, I crank it all the way up, and then I do the manual override and hold it. And what that does is that engages all four 
all four electric brakes on the trailer and it allows it to hold it in place while I pull forward. Okay, I've got my brake control maxed out. I'm doing the manual override, which activates only the trailer brakes. And I'm going to pull forward. And I'm going to listen for that pin to engage. Okay. I heard the pin engage, but you always want to walk back here. And you always just kind of want to visually look at it and make sure that it is engaged. And I can see that it is. And then there's this little safety pin. The little safety pin just kind of reassures you that the bed is all the way forward where it needs to be. If this pin won't clip in place like it's supposed to, that means you're not you're not you're not latched correctly. So you need to double check everything. Latch the little safety pin. Release the parking brake. Always release the parking brake. If you don't, it is going to fry the shoes, the magnets, the drums on the rear axle. I tell people when I'm making a delivery, this. And then I tell people, don't ever loan it out to a friend because they will forget to do it. And like I say, it fries everything on the axle. Then simply come up here to the front, replace your pin, make sure your car is tied down good. Always do a final walk around just to make sure everything's good. And um, you're good to go.